massive tree and only seconds to know, right? You got to twist, you got to have your head on a swivel, find out, all right, what is happening here and how do I get out of the way? Well, let's talk to the men who had to make that last second ditch effort to jump out of the way. The dads are Chris Johansson and Chad Day. They join us now here on Fox Weather. Both of you, thank you for being with us. I mean, what an incredible video. When we were having a meeting before the show, we're like, we got to talk to these guys. Like, that is something that was terrifying. Can you walk us through that moment? And, and I mean, it looked like you guys had a great evening on tap, and it just changed like that. Yeah, we were we were out getting ready the fire or getting the fireplace ready <clears throat> for s'mores for the kids, and then uh, we had sent the kids in to uh, watch a movie so we could enjoy a peaceful moment to ourselves. And luckily, we had done that because we were, as you can see, we we're just sitting down, sipping on a nice glass of bourbon, and then we hear crack, 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 and so we look over, and luckily there was a, a white tarp on the root ball, and we just saw the uh -huh. white tarp lifting. And uh, I looked at Chad, and luckily he fell, followed me, and we dove over the wall into the rose bushes. Wow. Yeah, we never saw the tree. We never saw it. We just heard the noise. Never saw the tree because the noise came from the left and the right. Um, and if Chris had not noticed that he had put that tarp at the bottom of that root ball on that tree, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys at all right now because that him noticing that root ball raising up with that white tarp on it is the only reason that we made it over that that uh, little wall right there. Because if we'd have gone left or right and not forward, it was it yeah. was pancake. Yeah, this is a massive tree. It didn't matter. Yeah, left or right's not an option, right? That tree is still hitting you. I do want to ask you, uh, Chris or Chad, which one of you did the, the last minute jump? When we watched that again, I mean, we've watched this like 30 or 40 times. Uh, yeah. One of you had to actually swan dive out of there. Yeah, that was, that was me. Uh, Chad fell on my back. So I cushioned the blow for him, but yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, the worst I got is a couple scrapes. So, you know, that's, that's the worst of it. I got thorns and scrapes all on my chest, but, uh, it was a pretty big thorn bush that I landed on, but. So the thankful the kids were inside, right? Can you talk to us? Did you guys, was this a bad night, like a bad weather night where you were expecting, you know, some high winds or, or what, what caused this? So earlier that day, um, there was wind and rain. I mean, it was Friday, so uh, anybody mm, was watching the Masters, yeah. you know, they had a lot of wind. So we're not too far, you know, just north of that. So we're getting the same amount of wind. Um, and it had been raining a good amount, but the tree was healthy. And, like, when it actually fell, it was it was calm as could be. I mean, if it was raining or, or windy, we wouldn't have been out by the fireplace. And when the, the guys were moving the tree... You know, they didn't find a dead spot or anything. It was just the root ball gave out. And, you know, luckily we weren't playing music. I was about to play music on the speakers. So mm -hmm. I had 15 seconds later, mm -hmm. you know, music would have been playing. Or if the kids were out playing around and being loud, we might have not heard it. Or if it was windy, we might have not heard the, uh, the crackling of the root root system giving away. Yeah. yeah. And, and as you had said, it's all about that timing because, I mean, that took over the entire back area, right? The patio area. I mean, because... This is a massive tree, and so you were saying there's really no indication that this tree would have fallen, right? That looked like a, a healthy tree, uh, you know, before it started falling, right? Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. That was a healthy tree, Oof. and then when you bring up the kids, like, you, you think about all the scenarios, like, if they were outside, like, what were we going to do, just jump on top of them and let the tree hit us? Like, we had no time to barely get ourselves out of there, much less get three, like, small children out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was it was an intense moment um, that we went through on that one for sure. And yeah. just to think, like if if we did, the tree did hit us. You know, our kids would have been the first ones to find us. I know that's what was yeah alarming when you look at the end of that video. You see somebody come outside to try to figure out what what just happened out here, right? Like they're thinking, Dad, are you okay? And then you're looking mm -hmm. around. Thankfully, you were truly uh, a remarkable event. So glad, Chris and Chad, you guys are, are are okay and able to share this story with us. I know it's something that. Hopefully, you know, in the days and the weeks to come, you'll be sipping on some bourbon again around the fireplace, talking to each other about this, you know, saying, hey, remember when I saved you over there? You know, I, I softened yeah. the blow. So we have some confirmed tornadoes, by the way, in the Midwest. We got to jump back to you. But Chris Johnson, Johansson and Chad Day, thank you for being with us here on Fox Weather. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you.